Sports. Super Bowl performer Justin Timberlake says his son will not play football. Roll tape. So you would support if he wanted to run some routes and get in the NFL? Uh, he will never play football. Okay. Uh, no, no. Pretty categorical. He will never play football. Joining us now, two-time Super Bowl champ and former New York Giants defensive lineman, Leonard Marshall. Sir, it's an honor to have you with us. It's an honor to see you again, too, my friend. Really? Uh, <laughs> no, it's the other way around, son. Let me tell you. All right. Justin Timberlake, his son, will never play football. He's the halftime performer. I don't like the look of this. It, it seems that youngsters will be withdrawing from the game, and that's bad for the game long term. It comes back to the same thing we talked about before, that we need to protect the people, the kids, by making sure that the people are certified to teach and coach them at an early age. Now, it's tough for a sure. kid to play between the ages of 8 and 13 years old to be out there to play tackle football. You learn how to play sports pretty much at an early should? age. Just, well, I think, I think they should play football. I'm not saying get away from the game or the competitiveness that it teaches you because it helps you shape you for life. However, it's tough for a kid to go out there and be taught a gladiator sport like that at an early mm -hmm. age that we play for money. Men play this game for money, and that's okay. okay. We understand that. Okay. But for a kid to go out there and play this game and run the risk of head injury playing you tackle football, that's a problem. Earlier on this program today, we had Pete Hegseth. Now, he's okay. a Fox & Friends weekend anchor, and he called Justin Timberlake soft. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Roll tape and let's listen to him. I mean, come on, this is indicative of the way the elites see football and, and tough sports and rough and manhood, frankly. This idea that you learn things when you get hit. You learn things in the huddle when you get knocked down. Listen, we all care about player safety. That's important. But to say, no, my kid can't play football because I'm worried he might take a hit, uh, it's indicative of sort of the softness that we get. All right, Leonard, go at it. It's indicative of your toughness based upon you playing a kid's game. Like I said before, we play the kid's game for King's Ransom. For those kids to go out there and play football and not think that you're tough because you can't take a hit, the game's not about the toughness. It's about learning competitive, how to compete in life and how to learn things at an early age that will help shape your life. Now, you are going to donate your brain. When you pass, yes. you're donating your brain for the study of concussion and CTE. Okay? Yes. You're part of the Concussion Legacy Foundation. That's correct. Um, you've launched a campaign. I believe it's flag football for people under 14. That's Correct. it? That's what Correct. you want to do? Correct. So no tackle football until you're 14 years old? Until you're 14 years old, unless you go to a USA football type camp or something that's mandated by the National Football League with independent medical examiners on the sidelines and everything else mm -hmm. to make sure that the game is safe, that the kids are learning how to play and how to tackle properly. Again, yeah. I'm totally against a kid between the ages of 8 and 13 years old hitting his head in competitive tackle football, but that's not to say a kid can't go out and play lacrosse, field hockey, whatever else. I mean, you run that risk playing that sport, that's on you. All right. Leonard Marshall, we hear you, but I also want to hear who you think's going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, it's tough to bet against that guy, Bill Belichick, because, you know, I have two championship rings and two trophies in my house that, uh, you Belichick know, I, was a I like looking at. coordinator? Yes, he yeah. was. He was a coordinator under uh, Bill Parcells and a guy who did a Fantastic job and turned so, a bunch of young men in, into men. So, so are you telling me that the hated Patriots are going to win? Is yeah, that what you're I telling think, me? I, I think so. I think